see this, right? So we got this. We got one. We're gonna award our first Ronaldo here. Okay, so we're gonna go one, bring it back to the other here. And then what's gonna happen here is we're gonna square up with each other. That's gonna make the room for the tip of the weapon to go forward, and we throw another one. Right, so we're going one, open up, and one. So I don't want this in front of you like this, or I don't want up here over the head. What you're doing is pretending you're like in a little box here with one, and you gotta throw it in from here, right? So the idea with this little bundle is, again, throwing another number one angle. But the advantage for this is that this is obvious. Here, I'm likely gonna throw this. From this position, it's not so obvious that I'm gonna throw another number one. And also, it's the timing of this, right? Meaning, here we go, load up, one, two. One, two. What we do here is one, then the body movement is what's thrown to be afforded up. We'll go one, or sorry, we'll go one, two, and then the hit comes after the three, right? Our body moves, the hit follows after, right? It's a very tricky, uh, it's a very tricky strike to block because when I see, like for example, Barbara's loaded up here, when I see the body move, I'm already reacting to this position here, and when he moves that, this is what comes at the end, right? Like this is the difficult thing, meaning the body moves, and then this comes at the end of that, right? You really react to the way the body moves from here, off here, but then this comes at the end. Okay, so we go like this, we go one, load up on your waist, open, and another one, another one. So that'll be one count, right? So we go like this, one, and one. And move around, move around again. Open, one, right? So really open up your body and square up with your partner to allow for the weapon to move forward. And you 